And as much as we might not want to admit it, summer is winding down, it's coming to an end. That means back to school time. A happy time for parents, maybe not so much <laughs> for the kids, but we have some advice for the kiddos out there. Things that they have to keep in mind when they're in school. Our good friend Karen Thomas is here. She is our etiquette expert here on CT Style. We'd like to welcome you back. Uh, this you. is sort of a difficult transition. The kids are outside yes. having fun and then back to school. Right, right. And there's just some tips that you can share with your children to make the transition back to school a little bit easier. And I like to do this too with even my son who's 14 going into high school and then he gives me that look. Yeah. Ma, I know. Yeah. But you know what, just talking about it makes it a little bit easier. So I thought we'd talk a little bit about like in the classroom. Okay. Um, talk to your children and tell them, you know, wait your turn. Uh, make sure you use your indoor voices. Raise your hand. I mean, these are just some reminders and refreshers for the children so they remember that, you know, they're in a different setting. They're not running around outside. We're not, mm -hmm. you know. Um, how about in the cafeteria? Mm -hmm. um, clean up after yourself. That's you know, the, the, because right. at home maybe mom does or you leave things right. around. So you want to clean up. Um, and one important one is never share your food. Okay. Now, when I went to school, the big thing was I would bring the Twinkies and, yeah. you know, he Just would bring trade, the, right? like you know, the devil potluck. dogs. And, yeah, you know, we would right. trade. But with so many food allergies now, it really is best not to share your food. Mm -hmm. um, even if, you know, somebody else asks, can I have some, it really is not good. So we want to remember that That's in the cafeteria. That's what I should have said back in high school when kids were stealing my food. I should have said, it from all, you? I, I should have said, right? guys, you know, Aww. you might have an allergy to my chicken nuggets. Stay away, please. Right. Aww, I am I am allergic to chicken. Are you really? Isn't that funny? So yes. Okay. How, how about on the bus? I okay. mean, that, that can be tough this for This is huge because, you know, you have now, put yourself in the, the stance of the bus driver. You have, what, 30, 40 children yelling, mm -hmm. screaming, jumping. So, again, let's use our indoor voices. Um, let's be kind. Move over when somebody comes on. That have you? Sense. Do you remember when you were in the bus and, you know, you saw somebody and you didn't want to move over because you didn't want to be next to the so, window? Yeah. Kind of like riding on the airplane. I don't want the oh, window true. seat, or, yeah, you know? Worst, yeah. um, but just these, these wonderful reminders for your kids kids can make it a just more pleasant experience and you know parents too here's the etiquette for back to school talk to your kids mm -hmm. and you know allay some of their fears maybe or the, you know because it is a transition going from summer back to school so if the parents talk to the children a little bit about that give them some of these tips I think it'll make a smoother transition for all it starts at home right with the parents. it does oh, and the kids can be kind and nice too right absolutely you know well. please and thank you always especially at school and again I still tell that to my my age Jay, who's 14 and he rolls his eyes. I know. I know but you know what? It's important to hear it. You have to be compassionate, right? That was yes, the word compassionate. There you go. In totality. In totality, yes. <laughs> yes. In totality, be a good compassionate. student. Compassionate, yes. Guess, right? Makes sense. Karen, thank you so much for all of the suggestions here. We're thank you. off to a good school year. No yes. doubt about it. Thanks, Karen. Thank you. All right.